All right, so I just bought something really cool for the collection room. I feel like it was time to do a little bit of upgrading. All right, so I've had this computer chair for about a year or two, and for the most part, it does get the job done. But I've always wanted like a really nice gaming chair. So today I went out and I bought a Respawn gaming chair. This thing is a beast. It looks really, really nice. Check it out on the back here. That looks really cool. Love how it looks on the back. Super happy with this purchase. And uh, shout out to my friend Alex because I pretty much got the motivation from him to buy this because he bought the red one. And when I saw it, I was like, man, that looks amazing. It's a great price. So I went out, got the black and gray one. And overall, I'm just super happy with this. So that's my original chair. And now I got this absolute beast of a chair. And uh, yeah, super, super, super happy with this. So I just got off of work and today R.L. Stein's newest book is out. So I came over to Barnes & Noble. Hopefully they have a copy. I've heard that sometimes they get signed copies, so that'd be really cool. But I've also heard that a lot of times they don't get books on release date. So I don't know what to expect, but let's go inside and hopefully we have some luck. All right, so I was just looking over here in the oral sign section and here it is. Here's the, here's the first book in the Garbage Bill Kids series. And today the second book has been released. This is awesome, Thrills and Chills. Look at that cover right there. Really cool looking. There's no signed copies, but that's okay. I'm just happy to grab a copy, and support my man, Arl Stein. This is awesome. Really happy to grab this. So these books by Christopher Pike, Spooksville, kind of like in the same vein as Goosebumps. These are pretty cool. Um, they do have older covers. These are like the newer releases, but still, wouldn't mind grabbing these at some point. So the day has finally come. Today, Friday, May the 7th. Capcom's newest game, Resident Evil Village, comes out today. Now I know I could have bought it last night digitally, but I like having all my stuff in physical form. So right now I'm out here outside of Walmart. I'm waiting for them to open. They open in like in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go in here and buy a copy of Resident Evil Village. I've played all the other mainstream games that are and they're amazing um but the newest one is for next gen it's for the ps5 uh xbox series x and i've played both demos and it's just it looks awesome this is going to be really really good i'm super excited to go in here and buy a copy hopefully they have them out last time i was going to get a game the day the day it released here they didn't even have it out and i had to come back later um, cause it was still in the truck or something like that, but hopefully, hopefully they have some games out and, uh, yeah, it is 6 50 in the morning. I'm super tired. So I left Walmart without the game because nobody in there had any idea what I was talking about. Of course, even though they work in the electronics section. Um, really frustrating. It's like my second time where I go there as they open and they don't have the game on release date. Or I, I, I'm pretty sure they had the game. They just probably didn't want to look for it or whatever. The guy behind the counter checked like one drawer and he just automatically said, nope, we don't got it. So I left and I went to go get my daughter and Leo. Yeah, Emma. And we came over here to Target because Target <laughs> never failed me. So we're going to go in here and pick up Resident Evil Village. What's so funny? <laughs> Emma. Emma. You ready to go on Target? I'm ready. You ready? No. No? Alright, well let's go inside. And I guarantee you, they will have Resident Evil Village. I told you. They never fail. Alright, so there's a new Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pop. It's a classic Sonic. She's running. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Dope. 30th anniversary of Sonic. And there's definitely not a shortage of Pokemon cards here. Check out all those battle styles. These are the, the newest packs. Oh my god. There's so many booster packs here. This is crazy. Wow. 
We also have the first partner pack here, which comes with oversized Pokemon cards. These are pretty cool. So I'm back home and I got my copy of Resident Evil Village. Super excited to play this game. So I'm gonna go play a couple of hours and I'll give my quick thoughts on what I think on this new installment of Resident Evil. It's time to play Resident Evil Village. So I'm a few hours in, and right off the bat, the graphics in this game are absolutely stunning. Some of the best graphics I've ever seen in a video game, ever. And the, the combat, you know, the shooting mechanics and stuff like that, super tight, really precise, really easy to get a, get a hang of. And overall, so far, I'm like two or three hours in, this game is awesome. Uh, you play as Ethan Winters, who is the same character as Resident Evil 7. And in this game, you have a daughter, and you're, and she gets kidnapped, and you are going after her, trying to rescue her from this village that you wake up in. You have no idea where you're at, but you're slowly progressing through the village. And so far, uh, it's 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 awesome. So after a couple of hours, this game is definitely something you need to pick up if you have a PlayStation Five, and it's also on PlayStation Four. So definitely check this game out if you're into like first-person zombie. Actually, there's werewolves in this game. And, Got, and who knows what else, I haven't beaten the game yet, but definitely, definitely, definitely check it out if you haven't. Resident Evil Village, it is out now. So with that, I wanna thank you all for watching this video. Please check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I will see you all next time.